And now I have to go and explain to him that some kids at school don't like him because of the shade of his skin. That's, it's unacceptable. Parents grapple with how to talk to their children, victims of hate at their own high school. Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Christiane Klein. And I'm Denise Valdez. Two teenagers, ages 15 and 16, are under arrest for making racist threats on social media against black students at their school. Now, these posts are so racist and so filled with hate, we've actually blurred them out of the innocent targets of those Instagram posts, as well as what was written on them. 8 News Now reporter Karen Castro is live outside Arborview High School. She has reacted from students affected by those disturbing posts. Karen? Well, Christiane and Denise, understandably, students and parents alike are outraged and disturbed by these uh, uh, social media posts. In fact, many of the students were pulled from school this morning, while others decided to stay home after learning of uh, these racist threats. Cell phone video shows two Arbor View High School students taken away by police in handcuffs after being linked to a racist Instagram account targeting black students. One of the many people who reported it to the school principal is Madison Eckert. Posting it's one thing, but like saying something and speaking out that it's not okay is like something else. We are not showing any of the disturbing posts threatening black students at the school and using derogatory language. But one of them mentions the desire to quote, cleanse the hallways, and another post makes reference to the Columbine School shooting. In one of the posts, it was a picture of my boyfriend and that is that obviously that's personal to me and that's like scary for me and Adrian Armstrong is her boyfriend it's crazy that we still have to deal with stuff like this that was long past Armstrong says even if the students were joking he is not laughing neither is CCSD superintendent Dr. Jesus Jara I'm not going to tolerate it and I, I don't expect for our principals to tolerate um, this behavior Dr. Jara says they have leads on other students who may have been involved. The social media account has been taken down. Meanwhile, Eckert says earlier this school year, Arborview was dealing with another racially charged issue after students posted banners wanting to start a white student union club in response to what she says is the black student union. And I looked up one of the symbols that was on the poster and it was a Nazi symbol. It used to be a Nazi symbol. Like it was, it was literally racist and I don't know but nothing was really done. Now, the school is promising change. In a letter to parents, the principal says in part, quote, CCSD's Equity and Diversity Department is sending staff to Arborview High School to discuss the importance of creating a climate of mutual respect among all students. Reporting live, Karen Castro, 8 News Now.